Morning guys, I hope we're doing well and let's have a look at our learning for today. So again, we'll start off with our reading and we're just going to complete our Lemony Stickit uh, book this week. And we're going to be concentrating on chapter 12 and again we're looking at mixed vipers. So let's have a look at the first question and see if we can decide which one of the vipers this relates to. So why do you think Klaus clenched his fists? So if we find that in the text to begin with and then read around it, we might begin to think about why he actually did that. So he says yeah, he clenched his fist. His sister had said, I do, in the presence of a judge. So in the book, obviously, this is the plan that Count Olaf had. Um, if he married Violet, he would get his hands on their fortune. So Klaus is beginning to get cross look because his sister said, I do, and which meant uh, Count Olaf's plan has actually come together. So again, this one would be an inference question and I would answer it like this. I've got a little bit of extra information on there too. So we're going to answer this in two parts. So the red part relates to that first bit. I think Klaus clenched his fist because he was angry and this is what people do when they are angry. So that would be my first part given the, um, in answer to that question that just tells us why he clenched his fist. And the reason that he's getting angry is going to come up in this blue part. I know he was angry because Violet has said, I do. And once the documents were signed, they would lose their fortune. So it meant that Count Olaf's plan had come together and that made him really angry. OK, let's have another look at a different type of question. This one says, how did they know the play had begun? So again, uh, you're going to have to find this in the text um, because this is going to be a really easy retrieval question. And it says there, look, from the murmurs of voices they heard on the stage, the two uh, Vuldilad orphans could tell that the performance of the marvellous marriage had begun. So in answer to this, you would want to say the children could tell the play had started because they heard voices on stage. Really simple answer, uh, nice and easy retrieval. So continue with those, remember it's on you're on chapter 12 uh, and one more chapter to go for tomorrow until you've finished the text. On to our maths then and continuing with our angles theme and today we're looking at classifying angles. So we Angles have different names to help us sort them um, and help us understand them a little bit better. So on the screen in a second there's going to be sort, there's going to be four, there's four types of angles and there's going to be some clues that come up. You may or may not have come across these terms before but these pictures hopefully will help you uh, remember those words uh, and those that vocabulary when we finish this lesson. So we've got a little cute dog there, a little cute puppy. We've got a square with some little squares inside. Uh, we've got a sun lounger, which you can see is sort of an angle has been drawn on that. And we've got a Pac-Man. So there are four clues and hopefully these will help you at the end to um, identify those four different types. So let's start. The first and the most recognisable angle is obviously a right angle, which is 90 degrees. And that little picture there, you can see is a square and it's got four right angles making up the square. OK, so that is the reason I chose that one to help with the right angle. And that little tiny square there, that symbol actually indicates that it is exactly 90 degrees. It's not 89, not 91, it is exactly 90. So that little mark, um, that little square drawn on there tells you that. Okay, that's a really good little clue. Now, the size of the angles um, are going to change. 
but the right angle is the is the best way to classify angles. If you know what a right angle looks like, you're, you're going to be able to classify the other angles that we're going to look at shortly in this lesson. So the smallest type of angle that we might come across is called an acute angle and that was why I showed you that little puppy down there. So if you think about that word acute and an acute angle is less than 90 degrees. So it would look something like that. So you can see the right angle, I've left that one up so you can see, and you can see that the line um, comes down at a much um, steeper angle, which creates that sh uh, less than 90 uh, degrees there. And again, if you think about that uh, cute for small, that will help you understand the definition for acute. Okay, the other type of angle that we might come across is called obtuse. And this is more than 90 degrees, but less than 180. So that was that little picture of the Sun Lounge. You can see that it's more than 90 degrees. So you're not sat straight up. You've, you're lying back a little bit enjoying the sun. And again, you can see that 90 degrees been drawn on there. So you can see that the 120 that angle there is much larger than 90, but again, it's less than 180. So that's that obtuse one. And then finally, the last type of angle, fourth angle, is called a reflex angle. So it's more than 180, but it is less than 360. And sometimes when you draw or when you see the angle, it looks a little bit like a Pac-Man. You can see the straight line is 180 there and it goes beyond that and it creates that sort of Pac-Man shape when you draw the actual bit that you're measuring. Okay, so there are four types. Acute, right angle, obtuse and reflex. So your task today is going to be to identify those uh, in your packs. Remember, the 90 degrees is the best way for you to decide if it's more uh, than 90, then it's obtuse. And if it's less than, it's acute. Okay, so have a go at those. Don't forget to keep looking for those times table rock stars battles that might uh, crop up. And we're going to carry on with our writing for today, which is on the topic of news reports and specifically today we're going to be looking at news report phrases okay and we're looking at news reports uh, news report phrases sorry news report phrases are really good because they make it sound like a news report which is obviously important when we think about our audience and our purpose so, um, this extract is taken from that previous slide, um, linked, to the red, little, linked to Little Red Riding Hood, and we're just going to highlight some of the phrases that make it sound like a news report. So, that phrase approximately is very formal, so we might use that to help us be specific about a particular time. We might use something like, at this stage, it is unclear. Okay, if we were talking about a case that's not been solved yet. We might use something like, police believe that. Okay, so obviously, when we, sometimes when we write news reports, we don't know all the answers. So we might be saying, believe that, or claim that. And we could also write something about CCTV evidence provided by the shop. Now obviously that's linked if the, to the particular uh, story that you're writing, but again, it sounds like a newspaper report, it's formal. So that's the sort of things that we could use in our own news reports. Let's carry on a little bit further and see if we've got to find any more phrases in here. So if you want to pause the video, have a go yourself. What makes it sound like a news report? Okay, so we could have something 
such as after speaking to the shopkeeper, it's a nice little adverbial phrase. We could, we could have as part of an ongoing investigation, so that might be on the side of a police if police were investigating something. Or we could have, again, a spokesperson from the police said. Again, these all sound like a news report. Or we could have something like, it is believed that. Again, we don't know the answers sometimes when we write news reports, so we might use a phrase like that. So in your packs, you've got some um, journalistic phrases or newspaper phrases, if you like. And I just want you to have a go at writing some sentence using those practicing them on your chosen news report that you are writing.